This is very much an initial proposal. She had outlined saying that she wanted hard laws on these issues, that she wanted to be able to announce hard laws on, on uh, artificial intelligence and also to have a more firm single market on data. At the moment these are proposals, as I said, but they're trying to be extremely ambitious. Basically, what, what the European Union wants to do is to wean itself off its reliance on data from the big tech firms and instead start pooling its own data so that that can then feed into artificial intelligence and it can become a world leader. That's the intention, Isabel. OK, but then we're talking about the intention. What are the difficulties for the EU as it tries to hone these plans and actually really create a solution? Well, when it comes to this idea of collecting data, obviously the data comes from those big tech co companies. They have been relatively uh, supportive of the idea of sharing some of their data, but we know that they are so secretive about their algorithms. A lot of the companies, your Facebooks, your Googles, your Amazons, they want to ensure that they have the competitive edge and that the data that they're sharing is not used in the always in the way that the EU is perhaps suggesting they want it to be. They're saying that if there is a lot of big data that they can manage to share across the EU among institutions, governmental, business, civil society organisations, then that data can be used for good. That's what the EU is saying. But when there are business interests in that, obviously they have a slightly different perspective on things. They're going to have to work hard and they're going to have to lay down laws. But you've seen, Isabel, for instance, with the, with the GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation that the EU put down, which is all about privacy and protecting people's data, that that has had wide-reaching enforcement implications for organisations, media outlets, uh, social media platforms across the world, and as has, is actually being held up by many other players as a bit of a global standard. We're seeing the Japanese, for instance, looking into the EU's measures on, on privacy. So when the EU acts together and acts fast, they can start to assert some dominance, and certainly that is something that they're hoping to do with this strategy on data pooling and on artificial intelligence. Uh, yeah, and being a global standard bearer, uh, let's just pull out a little bit, Jack, because this obviously comes in in Ursula von der Leyen's first 100 days, really trying to assert herself as this European Commission geopolitical leader, also in terms of her Green Deal. So put this into context for us uh, and, and how many ripples these proposals could have uh, worldwide. You're right, Isabel. So this is the sort of t the two uh, fingers, if you, for, for want of a better expression, perhaps, is that was the new Green Deal and the digital proposal. So we're seeing the f the fledgling ideas today from that. She really wants to make Europe the first totally carbon neutral continent, and also she wants it to make the make it the big global player on these issues. And that's what the outline has been. So she's laid out these digital proposals today, and we'll have to wait and see. Firstly, how those big tech the companies go and also how the member states react as well.